So, there has been a big scandal with Minecraft because of, you guessed it, Microsoft, who wants to be more family friendly and added chat moderation. Now, I waste five minutes of your life talking about it. Microsoft announced its intentions to migrate all Minecraft, that means Mojang, accounts to Microsoft accounts for security and integration reasons. It wasn't mandatory so the people that wanted a free cake migrated and the rest, including me, stayed with their trusty old Mojang accounts. But then they announced that you will be forced to migrate by March 10th, 2022 or else you won't be able to play the game. It seemed dumb and unnecessary, but it was all part of Microsoft's plan. In June of 2022, along with the mild update, we got an announcement about Minecraft Java and Bedrock editions being sold together. And with the flood of Bedrock players coming from a PG family-friendly world to the more non-PG Java edition, and with a lot of the Bedrock player base under 18, parents were not very happy, as such in Minecraft Java Edition 1.19.1 pre-release, one Mojang announced chat moderation. With that edition, you could be banned for reasons like hate speech, terrorism, bullying, or false information. So what you're telling me right now is that if I prank my friend by sending him false coordinates of my base, I can get banned from multiplayer? This is where it gets shady. Sometimes I need the full context of a situation to fully understand what was happening. With that not being present in today's chat moderation tool, this can lead to undeserved bans, which the Bedrock community has experienced for a couple of years now. This is the dumbest ever. I am genuinely f pissed. Mojang, Microsoft, whoever the f runs this. The best thing is, with the pre-release too, Mojang confirmed that the chat isn't locked and only the messages marked by the player reporting are seen by the highly trained moderation staff. More info on a FAQ page linked in the description. And with the new pre-release, Mojang also confirmed that this feature will apply to private servers and that's just sad. You can play on a private server where you mess around with your friend a bit and get banned for bullying even though no one was hurt. Of course you can appeal, but again, as the Bedrock community has experienced, this can take a really long time. Chat moderation hasn't yet been released to the normal version of the game. It is a pre-release, so we don't really know what effect this will have in multiplayer, but we can look back at a community effort similar to this one. In early 2011, a player named Doridian created a plugin called MC Admin. Basically how it worked was if a player got banned on a server running this plugin, he was added to a global ban list and if he got banned on three servers running MC Admin, he would be banned from all servers running this plugin. This was abused by a notorious griefing team, Team Evolution. They set up three servers running MC Admin and banned anyone who joined. If they got banned on all three of those servers, they were unable to play on all servers running MC Admin, leading to the creator of the plugin taking it down. Hack client developers are now thinking of adding a feature called Auto Report, which would automatically report everyone playing on the server. All of this is happening very quickly and it can be fixed as quickly as it started if Microsoft and Mojang will finally listen to the community. But as of today, I'm upset with the direction Minecraft is going in, from a community based on trust, from developers to a strictly moderated hell. I mean, no one asked for this, the servers that wanted moderation did it themselves and anarchy servers like 2B2T let the players do whatever they wanted. And think about what would happen to 2B2T with chat moderation. Fortunately, plugins are currently being developed preventing chat reporting, but I'm still sad that Mojang is being separated from the community because of a giant like Microsoft. 
with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video and to be clear i don't want to create any drama i just wanted to share my own opinion and shed some light on this dark topic